then base building is going to demand raiding yes 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 it is and decay and upkeep yes yes i hope yeah i i can see them adding decay the, the decay and upkeep um into into base building for sure but i think base building is gonna be fantastic to be honest with you guys i think it'll be fantastic man. um the fence of uh base will be high priority also yes it will be you know what um it's, it's a good thing you mentioned that sfc with base building right i believe oh sfc with the super chat 50 50 dollar super chat really appreciate it bro uh great subject phase good talk with you with your community thank you bro thank you i really appreciate the support man i really appreciate you continuously support this channel man i really appreciate it brother um yeah you you make a good point bro um with 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 base building this is what i hope they do i hope they allow us to have different bases first of all i hope they allow each player to own at least two bases also orcs right i would love to have a base in a secure system so a secure system in such a way that you can't really raid it and destroy it or take anything and then i want to be able to have a base so a secure system isn't really going to be lucrative it's not going to be really profitable to be there but it's going to be safe and then i want to also have a base in a non-secure system now this is where you can be raided this is where somebody can engage you even when you're offline they can engage your base and rate it so that means you have to set up your automated defense systems turrets and all that right so i think i hope that that's how they do it or else it will kind of suck if you know you log off and you log back in and somebody already has raided your base and destroyed everything before you can get back in depends on what you keep in it and they aren't valuable probably not worth raiding yeah resin i completely agree um rating they need to balance that very carefully it cannot be anything like rust yeah 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 and it needs to be balanced but it needs to happen yeah so um what are you guys thoughts about the base building aspect of the game um of what game star base star citizen there's base building there will be base building so right now right now people are talking about the fact that they're adding inventory and medical gameplay they're starting to think about also base building and things of that nature and how the game is going to be more in-depth and uh yeah base building is one of the things that came up and what i'm thinking is i hope that they allow each player to own at least two bases at least one base in a secure system where it can't really be raided and a, another a second base anywhere you want whether secured mm, or unsecured no, i want to blow it up you want to blow it up <laughs> i don't care i want to blow it up so hold on so you don't mind somebody raiding your base when you're offline nope really yes i've played rust before <sighs> that's rough but that's the but if you, you have to consider you you if you have more time then that's fine right but if you're like a casual player you log in maybe one hour a night or two two or three hours within a week right i don't want to come back every time my base is destroyed you know what hey, i mean well that's unfortunate just don't get it destroyed <laughs> oh man yo bag man is your mic working I don't think his is mic is working. Right. Yeah, it's working. I hear you. Okay, that's weird. So it doesn't work when I'm in Star Citizen now for some reason. Oh, so were you talking yeah, the whole time? It sounds like Star Citizen. Yeah, I was talking. I was saying like, I feel like Habs are going to be like the uh, the safer option, you know? Like you're right, going to have a right. base and that's probably going to get raided. But like, that's like kind of your base. Yeah. Um, well, like if you have like a Hab in the city, that's going to be more protected yeah 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 it's it's a good option yeah to rent to rent a hab or even purchase because right now even in on orison there's going to be 
like literally condos that you can rent or own is gonna be really cool um but i don't know man i kind of i want to have a base i want the option of just living out on your own having your ship on your own um landing pad and you know store your stuff there build it out to however you want it to look like you know um but yeah man i i but i don't want it to be rated i i can't deal with rust mechanics i can't deal with that you just uh, aren't toxic enough <laughs> Oh man, I know there are some people that that don't mind it, but I think the majority of the player base don't really want it to be Rust. I think a lot of people don't want games to turn out like Rust. Oh, it's just one rough. I gotta I gotta relaunch Discord real quick. Okay, okay. I figured I figured as the Rust player with uh, five thousand hours in Rust, I should <laughs> commentate oh, yeah? a little bit. <laughs> All right, cool, 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 cool. Perfect, perfect. But so yeah, how do you I enjoy it. I really think like you said it's mm. it's how they balance it right right if they made rating kind of really easy and like you have to work really hard for a lot of valuables and you can yeah. and you store them out there it's gonna piss a lot of people off <laughs> yeah if yeah. they make rating easy right right and that could create some toxicity i can imagine mm -hmm. yeah um but it I, th will. I think that the key is that they have to define like what is the reason for g having a base right like okay just to be on your own but you'd probably just want to store your valuables in a safe zone yes yes like maybe for like getting loot like you can collect a lot better loot mm -hmm. far off mm -hmm. yeah um like mining mining possibly storage of uh farm mm -hmm. like stuff that you mine you might want to store you can store a lot of it because you can't transport a ton at once right 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 yeah so which which is why i'm, I'm thinking they should have a, a safe zone a bait where you can build a base and which is going to be just a few places and everywhere else should be unsafe zone where you can have, have another base and it's free for everybody. Yeah, there are actually Rust servers that are modded that actually have like building territory that you can build on, but but no mm. one can raid it, basically. Oh, it's okay. A safe zone. You can't even PvP like inside of it. Oh, okay. So how, how does so, how, how does those servers play though? You're they're, not, enjoy they're, they're not there's a lot of modded rust gameplay out there there's tons of modded servers that each have like different like uh loot like sometimes like there's servers that have like 10x loot so every yeah. every loot you get is like 10x and so it's a lot faster gameplay right but it you know, it's the thing is is rust is all about the rating it's all about rating. right right, like, right, that's, right that's the whole point of the game right right and uh, i think star citizen is more than that you know yeah 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 absolutely absolutely so that yeah that's so i i know yeah yeah we can hear you. okay cool cool, cool. Yes. yeah so so i think yeah they have to really be careful and really think it out how they want to implement this because yeah you don't we don't i don't want them to make it like rust but i think it should be a, a um a, a balanced mechanic i feel some way it doesn't there does it doesn't have to be like a, a safe base and a unsafe base but if they do it in such a way let's say for example let's say if there is no safe zones but based on where you build there's better security and there is um low security in certain s sectors right so yeah you know npcs could show up if you're paying the premium for it if it's being right. raided yeah in rust they actually used to allow pvp in the safe zone so you could mm -hmm. actually kill someone but then the turrets would the security turrets would just take you out in like one second Ooh. 
Nice, 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 but nice, nice. what happened, check this out. What happened was it got really toxic because what happened, the duos would basically go up to a solo and then one of the du one of the duos would kill the solo and then mm. die himself and then his teammate would gather up all the loot loot basically no way <laughs> we talk Are about you? a freaking scam huh wow uh yeah yeah and that's, so that's they, true. they actually they actually took that out of rust at some point but i when i first started <laughs> playing it that was the key and i got so pissed sometimes when i would get scammed like that yeah <laughs> it's hilarious. Oh, it's kind of it's kind of like that. Um, I see a little bit of there like that. Griefers. I mean, griefing is also a big concern of the developers. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like people just like stealing your ship, like right. You know, you're spawning your ship and someone gets in it and flies away with it. Like <laughs> Matutu. <laughs> stowaways. Stowaways. Oh, I'm like the professional at that. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of 